Welcome back everybody. So I've been walking for about three and a half miles so far this evening and uh, haven't found much of anything. Quite a bit of deer sign, no horns yet. And just came across this dead fawn. I've been finding a, a lot more this year than I normally do. This one looks like it just laid down and never woke up. Dope on. It's too bad either way, you know, it's certainly not what you want to see. But it seems to be that I'm seeing a lot of it this year, more, more than usual. Welcome back everybody. It is the next day and I put on a few miles this morning. Haven't had any luck and came across another dead fawn. A little button buck. Finding an alarming amount of these this year. I don't know uh, if you guys are finding a lot too. Uh, comment down below but kind of freaking me out to be honest with you. I don't like, and you know what's weird? It's not lack of food. There is more food in this block of woods than any block around here. So I don't know what it is. Obviously just, they got super cold for a week and we had really deep snow. Maybe these fawns weren't able to, to hack it with that. I don't know what's going on, but. Weird. And you know, I've put on a lot of miles on uh, that other piece of property that I was looking for that huge buck that I found in the last video. And I never found a single dead deer in that woods. So I don't know what the deal is, really weird. But we're gonna keep looking. I'm looking for a couple uh, bucks right here on our farm that I haven't found yet, that I'm hoping to find, but haven't had any luck yet. We'll see. Well, I haven't been able to find a shed today, but we found a big old cow leg bone, and I bet you Scout is gonna like it. We'll take that back and give it to Scout. What is that? What do you got? You got big bone? Uh-huh. Hey. What do you got there? What do you got, Scout? What do you got? <laughs> hey, bring that over here, Scout. Bring that over here. Bring that over here, Scout. What do you got? Huh? She likes it. Welcome back everybody. So I just uh, drove all the way out here to Ohio to do some shed hunting. I know this uh, spot had some boot tracks in it previous to when I was here, but I wanna get down next to this river bottom and uh, really look at some of the stick stuff down in here where I think these deer uh, bedded some this winter. It's an absolutely beautiful day out here. It's gonna be awesome to just walk around and enjoy, enjoy this nice weather. So if we find anything, it'll be a bonus. And if we do, we'll be sure to turn you on and show you. Well, I just heard my very first turkey gobble of 2021 up on this uh, finger that goes down over here. There's a definitely a gobbler up there. Maybe we'll run into them. Well, I've been walking a little bit and haven't come across anything, but I did come across a massive scrape right here. See that licking branch is knocked right over and it's right down here on the edge of this creek. There's kind of a pinch point right here. So this is a spot uh, I went ahead and marked on Onyx for next year. 
you know, it's it's nice to get in here after the season looking for sheds, and not only you know you can look for sheds, but you can uh, make a really good scouting trip out of the deal and look at spots you didn't want to go into during the hunting season. So lots of good intel I'm uh, gathering right here. It's real thick in here. Lots of bedding. Let's see what else we can come across. We are striking out this morning, everybody. Certainly isn't due to lack of effort, I can tell you that much. We have zigzagged over a couple miles now and we're just not coming across anything. We're gonna keep at it for a little bit and then uh, I'll probably raise the white flag and head back northeast with my tail tucked. These Ohio, this Ohio experience this year has humbled me. Hunting those bucks and then coming and trying to find their sheds has been a real tough deal. But I haven't totally given up yet. We're going to keep at it a little longer and then we'll head out. Boy, this tree got assaulted. Big scrape under it and ripped a bunch of branches right off. Right in this thick, nasty crap on the other side of the creek. I better put my camera away and make sure I don't fall. I was walking this uh, creek out here, kind of looking for arrowheads and stuff. And I want to get, o I want to somehow get across, but I don't have boots on. And look over into those little pines. Looks like some good bedding over in there, but uh, just found something kind of interesting right here. There's an old foot trap. Old, old, old trap. I think that's spent a lot of time in the creek over the years. Hmm. Kind of interesting. I think it's well beyond, uh, Repair. I think I'm going to try to get across this log somehow. Ohio shed hunting update. Epic fail. Ohio chewed me up and spit me out. And off I go with my tail tucked. I did a lot of walking. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Let's make the trip back to New York and I got some work I gotta do at the house, but maybe we'll get, uh, I'll do a little walking when we get back. We still have Oldie and Goofy's sheds to find at our gas well piece. I'd like to find those and then we have uh, uh, Krabby at our upper farm that I'd like to stumble across so we'll go ahead and head back. See you when we get there.